Hi, my name is Matthew Burrell. I'm a Senior Policy Advisor here at the PLSA and today I'd like to talk to you about the General Data Protection Regulation. GDPR is a piece of EU regulation that's updating data standards across the continent. The Act will take force in the UK through the Data Protection Bill which was announced in September 2017 and at the time of recording is currently making its way through Parliament. The regulations come into force on the 25th of May 2018 and all data controllers and processes need to be fully compliant by this date. This is an issue that all pension schemes and local authority funds need to engage with. The last time a Data Protection Act went through Parliament was in 1998, 20 years ago, when Tony Blair was the new Prime Minister and services like Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter had yet to establish themselves. As more services are digitised, the amount of sensitive and personal data produced, stored and processed has skyrocketed. IBM estimate that over the past two years, 90% of the data that has ever been produced in the history of mankind has been produced. It's not only the amount of data that's being produced that has changed, it's also what people are doing with it. The onset of big data has brought invaluable insights into the way that particular cohorts behave. With ever more complex algorithms and machine learning, we were able to see behaviours that we could not see before. However, with this new environment comes new dangers. Cybersecurity is a fundamental part of the regulations and the need to protect consumers from cybercrime has undoubtedly increased over the 20 years since the last Data Protection Act was passed. There is also a more fundamental question about who owns this data and what rights do individuals actually have over data that is fundamentally about them. These regulations seek to give consumers rights over data that is held about them, what is done with it, and fundamentally brings data regulation up to date with the digital age. Pension schemes and local authority funds need to engage proactively with GDPR. There are key actions and steps that need to be taken to ensure that they become fully compliant by the 25th of May 2018. Pension schemes are full of the kind of sensitive and personal data that is covered by the regulations. From records of contributions to benefit forms, all of these areas will be covered by the regulations. Schemes and funds need to ask themselves, what data do they hold? Where is that data being produced? How secure is that data? And what's the reason for them holding that data? And if they do not have a valid reason for holding it, should they be deleting it? All of these questions are vital ones to ask yourselves in advance of the 25th of May 2018. One particular area that schemes and funds may wish to look at is the legal bases that they are using for processing sensitive and personal data. The Information and Commissioner's Office, which is the relevant regulator for this issue, have stated that consent will not be a panacea for this issue. So other areas, for example, fulfilment of a contract may wish to be relied upon. Alongside the new regulations, there is an enhanced enforcement regime. Under the 1998 Act, the maximum fine that could be levied was £500,000, and this is increasing to £17 million. PLSA, in partnership with Herbert Smith Freehills, has produced a made simple guide to help trustees engage with the general data protection regulation. Fundamentally, GDPR is something that needs to be engaged with and is not something that schemes should be afraid of.